world's largest construction project is taking place in the middle of a desert in Saudi Arabia. The Gulf Corporation Council, which is made up of six of the Middle East's richest countries, is building a more than 2,000-kilometer-long railway to better connect the area. In this video, we'll show you a massive railroad project which, if completed, will have a far-reaching impact on the region's governments. Etihad Rail was founded in June 2009 with the mission of developing, building and operating railway infrastructure. It is jointly owned by the Abu Dhabi government and the United Arab Emirates federal government. The $100 billion Gulf Cooperation Council rail project will rely heavily on railway infrastructure. The GCC railway network, which is expected to be completed by 2024, will connect the UAE with Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Kuwait, Bahrain and Oman. The new railway project is planned to be a sustainable and efficient mode of freight and passenger transit throughout the Emirates' urban and rural areas. It will transport around 16 million people and 50 million tons of cargo. The railway infrastructure will play a vital role in lowering vehicle traffic emissions. The Emirates and GCC countries' commercial and social development will benefit from the railway connectivity. Sand produces an unpredictable and difficult environment. Mauritania, Saudi Arabia and China, among others, have built in the desert and have taught Etihad a thing or two. These countries devised techniques such as slowly turning sand dunes into clay, monitoring the changing dunes and erecting botanical barriers to prevent wind and sand. Etihad Rail's locomotive design includes a sand filtration system as well as a sand plow to aid with sand concerns. The project is divided into two halves. The first is a 264-kilometer cargo route that connects Ruais to the rest of the country. This line runs along the coast for 117 kilometers before turning inland for 20 kilometers to reach the Habshan gas field. It then heads inland for another 144 kilometers till it reaches the Shah gas field. To finish the project, there will be 10 underbridges, 29 overbridges, 12 pipeline crossings, and 30 culverts. The bridges cross important coastal routes and have notable architecture. In May 2011, A. Common Parsons International were awarded the contract to develop and oversee the first phase of the project, as well as design the next stages. Trains will transfer up to 22 tons of sulfur per day from these oil fields to Rawais. This byproduct of the oil industry is now transported in liquid form by around 300 large trucks each day. New factories will create sulfur granules, which will be carried by the train. Etihad believes that taking the rail saves 70 to 80 percent of carbon dioxide emissions as compared to truck traffic. The company also built two facilities to manufacture concrete railway sleepers that are used to maintain the tracks and are constructed from locally sourced raw materials. Each sleeper is 2.6 meters long and weighs 340 kilograms. They attach to the main rails with a fastening system and are used to help preserve the track and allow passenger trains to travel at speeds of up to 200 kilometers per hour. The second stage includes a link between Abu Dhabi and Dubai. The Musafa and Khalifa ports are also included. Stage 2 construction was concluded in a number of separate packages, which ensured that competitive tenders could be delivered by organizing civil and track packages on a state-by-state -state basis in each emirate. The tender was made with the assumption that the constructors would be bidding on separate O&M and cargo holding packages. The phase was finished in 2016. The third stage involves expanding the route to connect the Northern Emirates. It is estimated that the phase will be completed by 2024. Frey and travel are expected to take precedence. This will allow Frey movement in every UAE province to be completely derailed. Many of the things we consider unattainable are viewed as flower-like by Arabs. The finished project will connect the key trading ports and industrial areas of the country and will move 50 million tons of cargo per year. Etihad Rail and Communication Specialist Do inked a Memorandum of Understanding in June 2011 for the development of the railway project's integrated communication infrastructure. Do assisted with technical issues and provided advice. In April that same year, Etihad Rail and Etisalat signed an MOU to create modern telecommunication systems and infrastructure for the railway network's safe and efficient operation. Various world records have been set as a result of the United Arab Emirates' rapid economic expansion. Etihad is the world's fastest-growing airline. The Dubai Metro is the longest and largest fully automated passenger metro system. The Burj Khalifa Tower is the world's tallest building. And the Burj Al Arab is the world's first seven-star hotel. Despite all of this, the UAE is still one of the few countries in the world without a heavy railway network. Traveling across the Gulf Coast in a matter of hours was previously thought inconceivable, but it is likely to become a reality in the next few years. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up and ring that notification bell button for our latest super rich daily updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.